high tide for horseshoe crabs. It's starting. One spring night, the first horseshoe crab lunges onto shore. They're arriving. More horseshoe crabs follow, just as generations have done since before the time of the dinosaurs. Adult horseshoe crabs crawl from the muck of their winter homes and swim toward land. Millions of horseshoe crabs head for Delaware Bay. High tides carry them far up onto the beach where their eggs will develop best. They're flapping. On flickering wings, flocks of shorebirds fly through wind and rain through day and night. Some of these birds weigh only as much as a handful of paper clips. Still, they are powerful enough to fly thousands of miles from South America all the way up to the Arctic where they will lay their eggs. One of the few stops they make along the way is on the shores of the Delaware Bay. They're traveling. Scientists journey to Delaware Bay from around the world. Some come to study the horseshoe crabs. Others come to study the birds. Citizen scientists, both adults and children, come year after year to observe and help their professional scientists gather data. Families on vacation, curious about the commotion, also stop to watch. They're laying. So many horseshoe crabs crowd the shore that their shells clatter against one another. Each female horseshoe crab, with a male clinging to their back, searches for a bare patch of sand. She burrows down and lays a golf ball-sized cluster of small green eggs. Her digging disturbs other horseshoe crab eggs, exposing them to the waves and sun. They're landing. Bony and weak, the migrating shorebirds arrive in Delaware Bay. They're hungry, very, very hungry. It's happening! They're tagging. Scientists tag horseshoe crabs each spring, months or even years later when people find tagged horseshoe crabs on the beach and report them, scientists learn answers to basic questions. How far does this animal travel? How long does it live? How many horseshoe crabs are out there in the sea? They are feasting. The birds find an easy meal. Tiny nutritious horseshoe crabs eggs float in the water. They drift along the tide line. They mix in with the sand. The birds long beaks are just right for digging. During the two weeks a bird spends along the shores of Delaware Bay, it gobbles so many thousands of horseshoe crab eggs that it may double its body weight. They're growing. Plenty of little green horseshoe crab eggs rest deep in the sand, protecting from pointy bird beaks, scientists probes, and crashing waves. Each day inside each egg, a shapeless bundle of cells begins to look more and more like miniature horseshoe crab. And then they're leaving. One evening when their bodies are fat and the wind is just right, whoosh, in a whirl of wings, the birds leave. Some stragglers keep feeding for a few more days, but most of the birds zoom up to the Arctic and lay their own eggs. They're leaving. Scientists and vacationers brush sand off their binoculars. They pack up their data sheets, beach chairs, and stories, then return home to share what they've learned. They're leaving too. Most adult horseshoe crabs ride tides and currents back into the deep water. Others won't reach water quickly enough, though, and will die on the shore. And about two weeks later, the young horseshoe crabs burst from their eggs. Now nearly the size of ladybugs, they crawl from the moist sand and swim away to begin their journey. It's over. Until next year.